Hey, Internet. I'm Jaffa. How's it going? Um, today, I want to return to my experimentation with probably my favorite card in Theros, even though it's not that good. And that is Ephemia. Um, I've built two decks. Well, I've built probably like eight versions of these decks. Um, for a while, I was doing... Um, uh, Doom foretold with him, which had its moments. It had merit, but I mean, it just it wasn't really. It was when I won, it was because Doom foretold won it. So then I settled on this version. You know, uh, what, what I mean by that, of course, is I just dance of the manst. I just like, it was just a Doom foretold deck with Ephemia's tech, and that wasn't quite what I was looking for. So then I moved to this, which has all this annoying stuff to clear out early game threats. Like what, fourteen cards to kill early game threats, and then fill my graveyard and just get a little bit bigger. Um, this one works okay. Um, I don't think it's competitive, but it's fun. Um, this one's maybe even more fun at combining combining two of my favorite cards, a Femia and a Layla. Similar principle, a couple of, and an extra Saga because I've got blue in there. Um. So yeah, um, similar principle. Basically swapped out a few things to put in Alayla. Um, what I want to do today is work on this, but I want to do a different. I, I want to just be focusing on enchantment creatures. I think that's sort of the intention, and I want to. I haven't really gone that route. Um, that's not beat down. I don't know what I want to call it. I don't want to call it a Layla either. I want to call it a Femia. Um, creatures, I'll just call it that to differentiate. Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be just these two colors still. I'm thinking a Femia is crucial. I'm thinking the Archon of Fall of uh, Sun's Grace is it's just spectacular. Um, I kind of want more, but I'm gonna hold off because I feel like I just I spend my wild cards too easily. Um, so I'm gonna start there, and then I'm going to I think what I'm gonna do is go for creatures and search for enchantment. I don't know if that's yes. Yeah, so like I want four of those. I don't think I want to go that route. I wish I could search for two types. Like, you know what I mean? Can I Can I just type enchantment creature? Does that do it? No. See, it just it doesn't. Okay. I guess I could probably just pick Theros Beyond Death. I don't know if there's any of these in standard from other sets. Um, auras, no. New. Okay. See, that's reasonable. I don't know if I really want to go that route. I don't know. What are my options? Let's start with that. Maybe I'm gonna put that there to remind me that it exists. That seems like it could be nice. Seems like it could be nice. I mean that's nice, but the, I'm not I'm not really going for the devotion concept here. Okay, so that's the enchantment creatures that I have. I think I'm going to go heavy there. Maybe just like the... I guess why wouldn't I put... Yeah, it's because of the devotion. I don't want it to be... I don't want it to be like that. All right. 
So let's try that for my creature base. And maybe one of those to just like, if in case he's not, I don't know. And then let's just get some big, some big bad enchantments in here. Probably really smart here. Maybe I'll do that instead of the that guy that's not really gonna. Probably a banishing light because I have one. Maybe a prison realm because I have one. Well, I have several, but. And then I want to go some of the same stuff. I still want those guys, and I still want those guys. I think let's just try it like this. Let's try exactly this and see how it feels. I mean, I, I want the four Archons of Sun's Grace. I really do. Don't need to play ranked anymore. I've hit gold, and we all know I'm not going to do any better than that. Okay. Yeah, I just, I can't, I haven't quite figured out. If Ephemia can be the star of the deck. I feel like he's probably more tech. And, um... He's probably more a supporting cast member than he is a star. I feel like I really should just be making an Archon of Sun's Grace deck that techs. I didn't look at my land. I need to stop forgetting to do my mana base. Um... You know what? I'm going to just eat the L. Because I need to stop doing that. I need to stop forgetting to change my lands. 12 swamps and 12 plains isn't quite going to do it for me. I'm not going to change much because I don't have shock lands to speak of. But We're going to try to make it into something vaguely reasonable or the game will freeze that's also possible all right almost clicked play forgot what i'm doing real bad real bad at land all right i'm just going to go Land. Let's see what duels I have for these colors. I have a temple. I have a godless. I guess I'll do a couple guild gates, maybe. No, I guess I'll just do the fabled passages. That's probably fine. All right. This is not an expensive deck by any stretch. Everything's cheap. Something just occurred to me. Can you? Oof. I guess it doesn't really matter. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm a dum dum. gonna do it. I don't know why, but <clears throat> I 
all the glitters is kind of crazy with with Theros out. Yeah, I'm going to kill that. <clears throat> I don't know. I almost don't want to. Well, yeah, I do. Just wish I had another swamp right about now. This is a scintillating game thus far. All right. You got it, Buckaroo. Sorry, I'm going to kill that, but... Maybe I don't even care. Well, yeah, it's going to cause me... It's going to give him blockers to my dude. This is not going well for poor void stock. I'm drawing all of my removal. <laughs> Jesus, poor guy. Uh, I still think it might be the right move. Yeah, it's fine. Brutality. I mean, this has nothing to do with Ephemia whatsoever, but we're, we're wrecking some faces. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I might be out of removal. At least I'll still gain life. Uh, what do we got? Let's do... Not much. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Boop. I didn't realize how much life gain I was thinking about here, but whatevs. I guess I guess I want three of these, four of these maybe. It's cool. We're playing a little bit of tug of war with life, <clears throat> but now I kind of just am cycling through oaths of Kaya. <clears throat> It's almost over. Mm. Again, let's not give Ephemia any credit here. Okay. All right. You bought another turn. Super happy for you. Just, nope, actually, you're still dead. Still dead. Just barely not dead because of that. Well, that was a, a really silly match. That was a... <laughs> Let's call that a nothing.
Oh, it's running so slow. I'm sorry. Oh, how's it looking? Need a better computer, need internet. All right. Well, we'll try that again. No. Thank you. Cool. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> when something works. Looking mighty familiar. This time we've got black against us, so I assume it's just going to get killed, but that's fine. All right. I don't know if I should play that or not. Probably. Probably shouldn't. Probably wait for some threats. We're gonna. We're just gonna black white each other to death here. No one's gonna have creatures for very long. <coughs> Murderous rider. Mortify. Hmm. Oh yeah, mort. I guess mortify is really good this set, huh? Alright. I gotta remember to get Mortify. Why don't I have Mortify in this deck? Not an enchantment, that's why. We're going with enchantment type removal. Okay. Meh. Uh just gonna do that. Get this get this beefy man out. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that handsome man. Look at Look at what's going on with his face there. Uh sacrifice a creature. Okay. This game's stupid. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. Ah. Oh, that's problematic. Not to fear. All right, I'm not gonna win this game. Well, it's not over, but my deck strategy is to make two two zombies and two two pegasuses. His deck strategy is to make four four angels. So I'm kind of screwed. Boom. Let's just keep let's just keep hitting them with glittering all seeds. Glittering nymphs is the name of the game today. <clears throat> By all means. Let it go through. Oh yes. Alright. What else you got? 
Uh, nothing. I feel like something really bad's about to happen. Okay, we're going to make this immune to white. Didn't, it didn't work. Oh, why didn't it work? Oh, it can't be targeted. That's right. That's fine. I remember how cards work. I remember what protection means. I'm just going to do this pointlessly. I don't know. Not much of a not much of a battle plan at this point. Haha, I can't discard a card. I don't know if I want to do this. There's like nothing. I guess. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. Bob Ree's playing a legitimate deck, kind of. He's playing a... Um... I didn't see that coming. Gotta admit. Oh god. Alright, well now I'm I'm just I'm done. No, I'm gonna let him have his fun. I'm gonna let him have his fun. Go ahead, buddy. Pop this for Three angels. Dare you. Huh. I don't know what's happening. Got it. Got it. Cool. I'm dead. I guess I could draw the other Kai's rat or the other. Yeah, I'm just dead. GG. All right. Uh, so what's the problem with the deck? Okay, the first problem with the deck is that I have no answers to anything but creatures except one solitary banisher of light. I've got plenty of those. Well, why wouldn't... Yeah, see, that's it. Yeah, non-land permanent. It's better than Prison Realm. I'm going to call it better than this dude, too. Let's try that. I'm never going to be excited to see that thing I just took out, whose name I can't even be bothered to remember. I'm never going to be drawing and be like, yeah, that's what I need. I feel like I'm just slowly going to work toward it being um, the other deck. Archon of... Oh, wrong Archon. Shit. All right.
I wanted the Archon of Sun's Grace. I got the Archon of Falling Stars, and uh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm not sure why I didn't fable either. I'm being a dummy. Man, I'm being dumb. Uh, I have a feeling I'm banishing a cavalcade of calamity very shortly. Or not. Okay. That's unique. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Shock. No shock. Okay. Oh, Fafemia. You're finally, I'm pl finally playing Ephemia in my Ephemia deck. Yeah, you're getting banished. You are so banished, you putz. All right. I'll take that life back at least. Get banished, son. How am I at... Man. Mono Red does damage so fast. In such small amounts. Gonna kill that guy. Gonna kill him dead. Uh, gonna, gonna not kill him. Gonna play it a little bit risky. I know what he can burst for. It's a lot. Evil. I'm playing it against evil. Don't kill my Ephemia! Or my Archon. Just don't kill any of my stuff. Yeah, I get it. No, yeah, I have to because he might actually have enough cards in his hand to buff Dreadhorde to lethal. Okay. All right, cool. Now I can pop him. Uh, exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Thought weird. All right, you get out of here. Boom. All right, now we're rolling. Uh, feel like this is the smart play. Not sure. I just realized how many things in this deck don't go to the graveyard. Maybe it wasn't the smart play. I've been wrong before. Play your mountain. Shit. All right. How dare you? You absolute monster. Nuts to you. I'm playing another Archon. I'm gaining some life and not losing the life. Like a real boy. I feel like I'm just stealing things. Stealing catchphrases. I need my own. Why would you do that? You didn't have to do that. 
Okay. What do I got? Okay. Cool. That's kind of cool. Play this. Get that back. Uh. What a silly situation. All right. Well, next turn I've got to get rid of Chandra or end the game, and I think I might be able to end the game. I don't want to attack with the Eidolon because it's going to make it so that he can't. I don't really know how the Eidolon works. I don't know what this does. What does that even mean? Did evil time out? Am I frozen? Who's glitching? What's happening? Let's just take a moment to admire how pretty this card is. It's my favorite. I love it. It's like one of my favorite arts. Uh, I guess I'm going to win by a really cheap means here. Just opponent left the game. Opponent. Opponent is gone. Sing, beauty. Sing for death and for the dead. Does this one have flavor text? No. Okay. That took a while, but fine. Uh, one, two, th okay, assuming that they block this and this, you're taking two, four, six, nine. It's obviously, they're going to block the Archon of Sun's Grace, I would say. Wait, what? How did I, why, why didn't he block? I legitimately have like no idea why he didn't block. Whatever. Cool, I win. Did I have a, did, did what, does one of my cards prevent people from blocking? I didn't even know that, if that's the case. Um, there's something I want to change. I'm confused about that. It happened so fast. It's like he didn't have the opportunity to block, but I don't know why he wouldn't. I kind of want to get rid of this and do the Meyer thing. And then I kind of want to get rid of this after all. Oh, target enchantment card from your graveyard to your battlefield. I just want to get another actual enchantment creature, so I'm thinking that. Or maybe that? No, I can't do that. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Try that. We'll tweak this thing a little bit. <sighs> you know, yeah, it's like Ephemia is like. I feel like I want him to be more impactful than she is, he is. Um, when in fact, like, what I should be thinking is that if you play it at the right time, you're getting a 2-1 flyer and a 2-2 zombie for 2 mana. 
Like that's that's it, right? That's what that's what we're doing. Captain teamwork. Please don't counter everything I do, bro. He's going to counter every single thing I do. No, he's not. I'm going to attack with the Alciad of Life's Bounty, the Glittering Nymph. I, mean, I guess this deck is really just about being a Glittering Nymph. That's all I'm really doing. Sorry. Gonna have to kill that. <clears throat> My bad. I think he uh, was counting on that to be able to cast stuff. I went and killed it. Quite rude of me when you think about it. I, you know, I just, I just like playing with Ephemia. I'm gonna probably make a billion different Ephemia decks before all is said and done. Like that's and that's my favorite part of Arena, you know. Like me and my my friend just bought well, my friend just bought two boxes of Core Twenty Twenty, and we just did kind of like a, a draft thing. We weren't really drafting; we just each opened a bunch of packs and made little decks. And in paper, I feel like it's so hard to just experiment. Like you, it's easy to do an experiment, but every time you like, for me, deck building is like a thought process. It's like getting everything set aside, making changes. It's kind of like something I have to block up time for. And on here, it's not. Here, you just kind of like, hmm, I'm going to click some stuff, see what happens, click some other stuff. It's very, very simple to play with an idea and toy with it and figure out what's wrong with it. For instance, it's occurring to me that I have not a single draw spell of any kind in this deck. Nope. Oh, land was good. Alright, well, that's what I get for, for getting cocky or for getting greedy. Uh, okay. It got greedy. I don't even know why it got greedy. Eidolon of Inspiration. <laughs> I mean, really? Am I gonna? No. I'm gonna do this for now. <clears throat> now I can get rid of that problem. Now I have no issue Banishing lighting this freaking healing hawk. Right. <laughs> I'm a banishing light you too, punk. Sorry, Perotis. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, like, destroy all their stuff when I play an arena. It's funny, in, 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 in Paper Magic, I'm really, like, I never prepare a deck with answers to other people's stuff. I always just dive headlong into whatever it is I want to happen. But in arena, yeah, I'm, like, I'm a banishing light freaking everything. Just literally everything. 
that exists. Uh, target a creature. Oh, now I have to choose. Cool. What do you got, buddy? Okay. Don't have another banishing light. I've got that. And I've got that. But now you get two of the little buggers. Okay. I think I'm going to lose this time. Yeah, you know, ultimately, I like the other version better. I like the version where I just kill everything. All right, cool. Um, G, G. Um, I'll show that one off real quick before I end this video. I'm just gonna keep keep toying with this card. I'm gonna keep uh, keep trying to find the way to to make him interesting. I think probably the best use of him is just as tech in Doom Foretold. That's probably where he's at his best, if we're being realistic. Why can't I find any of my things? No, oh, it's all the way up here. I swear, I know how to click buttons. All right, last game. We're just going to show off this deck once. It's not, you know, it's it's exactly what you think it is. It's silly, willy nonsense. I was actually on the stream earlier, and someone was, you know, just in, insulting me about this deck, saying it's. Uh, they weren't impressed. Let's say. I gotta replace those prison realms with banishing lights. That's that's a big change. I'm realizing how much help more helpful banishing light is in Theros. Um I want the revenge. Maybe I don't need the oath. Okay. I don't think there's anything in this deck that costs more than four mana. We're gonna Myers Grasp. Boop. Why are you playing giant killers like this? I guess it doesn't, it's fine. Um, here, have another one. Have another one dead, Zors. Somehow I didn't see that coming. Um... That might have been a mistake. I don't really have an answer to planar cleansing. I also don't know if I care about planar cleansing. 
all that much. Probably just going to do this and call it a day. Like right now would be a really dumb time to planar cleanse. No, I mean, I guess, I guess that Revenge of Ravens might shut him down substantially. Oh, I probably should have protected the... Oh, that was dumb. I need to remember that... Um, the Alcid of Life's Bounty is protection from something. I don't want a Prison Realm, because if he does Planar Cleanse, he'll get his thing back. No, he won't get his thing back, because it's a token. This is this is a dumb game. Still not worth prison realming. I'm just gonna take another two and <laughs> see what what we've got here. I'm just gonna get two two to death. Uh, you joshing me? You gotta be joshing me. Stop it. Yeah, punk. Man, having a planar cleansing revealed is kind of weird. Like, I'm scared to do anything. Now I don't have to be... A well, yes, I do. Because I can't prison realm that. <sighs> Shit. I know what you're thinking, buddy, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of your freaking guy here. <laughs> what a silly thing. Uh, yeah, I guess. I need to put something out that he, can, that he wants to nuke at some point here. But I'm gonna get rid of that thing and all right what the heck let's just let's just boom give me a scry baby scry for something not a planes. We'll go ahead and Myers grasp this one. I can't win this game. I, I have to make peace with that. My value card here is an all that glitters, which is going to be immediately planar cleansed if I ever use it. Or wandered. Whatever I put it on, I'll just get wandered now. Well, now there's a chance of a planar cleanse. I think he probably won't. Now with two planeswalkers in play. Really? I guess I'm at seven.
I'm going for it. Okay. I just don't know. I don't know what to think is going to happen. I need to get a something. I mean, that's a something. I'd like a life linker. I'd like to get my L seed out or something. Okay. Good. Uh, get rid of that one. All right, I feel like this is the game where Femi is going to do some real work for me. <laughs> and I've got protection for Femia. All right, stuff's happening. <laughs> I was just talking shit about myself, but let's, uh, oh, do I dare feel hope in this scenario is the question. <laughs> I don't know if this is a hopeful scenario. <laughs> Boom. Eh, it's looking a little hopeful. Uh, just keep doing it, man. Come on, Ephemia. Oh my god. I want this so much. Doesn't seem like he has anything in his hand that's scary because he's not doing anything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Femia did it! Guys! <laughs> Guys! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. That's, 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 all, that's all I wanted. I wanted a game where a Femia was the difference maker. I guess really all that glitters was the difference maker, but mm, a Femia did it. A Femia gave me the... Because I would have just died. He would have just been attacking me with his own stuff if it wasn't for a Femia generating zombies. Booyah! We did it. Oh, that's, that's, that's all I could have asked for. What a, there's no better way to end a video than, than with a win like that. So, um, thank you so much for watching. It's been a delight. I'm going to keep toying around with this card, see if I can make him, um, her presume. Are there male har harpies? I don't really know. Um, anyways, I want to, um, yeah, keep toying with this concept and see what we can come up with. Um, thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.